Export Limited is into the business of export of cocoa and wood to Europe and America to end the much needed foreign exchange for Nigeria. Kuschavis Finance and Investment Limited has the primary responsibility of raising funds for the business of the entire group, Kuschari Group. Then Kuschavis Finance and Investment Limited also manages funds for high network of individuals. So Kuschavis Group has office in Ghana, Gabon, and are exploring the possibility of expanding their business to other West Africa countries. And Kosteris has a motto, they are the sole dealer of Honda cars in Nigeria. So what does it mean to trade? What does it mean to trade? Trading means offering something at a price that we earn you a profit. That is selling something. It could be your talent. It could be your time. Amen? Amen. It could be your gift. Amen. You sell time. Those who go to work, what do you do? You sell your time. They are paying you for your time. Remember, there are some factories, when you go there, you clock what? You clock cards, the time you resume work. And by the time you are leaving, you clock, you slot in your card, it will tell you, it will tell the organization the time you left work. So, what do you have to offer today? as each and every one of us. That is why I said that God did not make you an ordinary person. You are an extraordinary person. Can I hear somebody say amen? Amen. So you are, you are, the Bible says, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. Let man be like us. Today, Cosmos Madoka is a, is a doctor, is a honorary doctor. And when you hear him speak on television, you will think that he went to the university, but he didn't go to school. But today, he's a force to reckon with. Hallelujah. Amen. So what do you have to offer? Now, there must be a product, gift, talent or service that you have to offer from which you hope to gain something in return. When you go to work, you serve your employer. What do you get in return? You get wage, you get salary. Those who are frying chicken, what do they hope to get in return? Can I hear somebody say something? Are we in this church today? Or am I saying something that is not Christian? Because so many of us, we have taken God for, for granted. Coming to church is not all about praying and fasting. After you have prayed and you have fasted, you need to follow it up with action. Let somebody say action. I say let somebody say action. Action. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says faith without work is what? Dead. Is dead. It does not amount to anything. This morning I'm not here to speak grammar. I'm telling you the reality of life. Especially these young ones that are looking at me today. If you play today, you will pay for it tomorrow. If you pay today, you will play tomorrow. Go and ask the elders that are seated here. They will tell you. Now the Englishman says you should make hail while the sun is shining. So the time for me to be jumping from one corner to the other, sweating. And at the end of the day, you say, oh, how was the service today? The service was good. What did you learn? Oh, the man was good. I don't think we should continue like that. The time has come that we have to sit down and tell ourselves the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. So, God wants us to do business. That is why I read this passage to you. 
a man was traveling and he gave money to his servants to go and do business. So don't come to church and you tell me that you are coming to pray and pray and pray. After you have prayed, you go home and sleep. Now let me tell you something. When God says, bring your tithe and offering to the storehouse, like as I shared with the people on Tuesday when we came to pray, God said, prove me now if I will not open the windows of heaven and rain down blessings on you. How many people who are tight payers here that have been in their house and window will just suddenly open and pounds will be dropping on them? Does it happen like that? What God is saying is that as you fulfill your obligation to God, God gives you idea. An idea is seed. Because God says he is the one that gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Now, in every bread, there is a seed inside it. So that seed is required to be sown. Now, when you fulfill your obligation by bringing your offering and your tithe into the storehouse of the Almighty God, what does God do? He opens the windows of heaven and pours you ideas, which is another seed to go and plant. And when you plant a seed, a seed brings what? Fruit. And that fruit, there is a seed inside that you are meant to preserve for sowing and the flesh you are meant to eat. But unfortunately today, people don't give their tithe. And that is why you remain the way you are. Struggling. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I get some life? I say hallelujah. Amen. So God wants us to do what? To do business. And for us to take off, God somehow gets across the initial resource that each person needs to start off financially. He gives you what you need to start. Hallelujah. Amen. So the master in, the, in this parable that we read, gave something to each of his servants illustrating today how God gives to everyone some, how God gives to everyone what they need to start off according to your ability there's nobody here that do not have something there's nobody that is seated in church today looking at me that do not have something your physical strength is something that God has given you Amen. Amen. For instance, your physical strength is a resource you can start with. Other examples of resources God gives are your mental ability, the messages in your bulletin. Your what? Your mental ability. Your gifts. There are those who can sing. There are those who can use their fingers. There are those who are humorous that can make people happy. Is what? It's a gift. That is why you have comedians. Especially in this environment where we live in, where people are depressed. They need to laugh. That is why they go to the football feed. To to ease off the tension that is eating them up. Your relationship and even the income you are getting today, no matter how small it is, don't tell me it is too, it is too small. And part of that small income that you earn, there is a seed inside that you are meant to plow back to sow. Hallelujah. Yeah. So do not look far for what God will give you. Amen? Amen. As a financial breakthrough, it is already within you. It is already with, within you. Just like as the Bible says, it is where? It is within you. It is within you. So one question that some of us may tend to ask today is, where do I start from? In this hostile London, 
in this unfriendly environment where we live, in this place where they want to choke you up with taxes, and you start business before you open your door. Letters have started flying. Yes, you can start. Tell somebody you can start. You, you can start. They say to yourself, I can start. I can start. Mm -mm. You are not saying it as if you mean it. Say, I can do it. I can do it. Barack Obama said, in the midst of impossibility, he said, yes, I can. Was he able to make it? Yes. yes, he did. Say it to yourself. The Bible says, whatsoever thing you you believe when you pray, or whatsoever thing, how did he put it? Whatsoever thing you ask when you pray, believe in your heart. What happens to it? You shall receive it. Do you believe that you can do it? Remember I sang a song, Daddy. You can, do it. you can do it if you really want. You can do it if you really want. You must try. Not sitting down singing it. I must try. Try, try, try. Try, 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 try. Try, try. Have you tried it? Remember the this uh, Micah 7 8. He said, Rejoice not over me, O oh my enemy, when I try and I fall down. What will happen? I will arise. Tell somebody I will arise. I will arise. Say it loud and clear. I will arise.